Hello, today we'll be continuing our video from the last time where we'll be approaching on Tivat uh, runway and going around. Uh, I think in the last video we proved that it is one of the most dangerous approaches in Europe at least. Uh, so today we'll be going uh, again and starting from another runway and landing on opposite runway and now trying to make it work and actually land. So let's start. Climb, gear up, gear up. 500, okay. heading 200, heading select. 200. Check it. And set plant thrust. Plant thrust set. Speed two one zero flaps one. Speed two one zero set flaps one. Heading one five nine. So now turn left. You're heading one five nine. One five nine. Set. Speed. Two two zero flaps up. Two two zero set flaps up. Up 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 no light. Okay. After takeoff. And after takeoff checklist, please. After takeoff checklist. APU off, engine pleats on, packs out of, landing gear up and off, flaps up, no lights, altimeters 1013. 1013. After takeoff checklist completed. Okay, autopilot is on and altitude hold. Check. Yeah. Let's check. Okay, altitude 9000. We can turn towards the TVAT NDB 345. That's on your side. NDB 2. So heading to intercept uh, 030. And check. Set. And climb on. Level change. Okay, we set the next NDB, next to NDB, 302. 302, check. It's on, so we turn over the next to NDB, heading 3-0-0-0-0. Set, check. Okay, and this line will go, the straight one will go from Tiva to Nixtich on heading 007. Uh, so, return 007. Set, set. And we're already above the minimum altitude of 9000 for Nixtich MDB, minimum 10,000. We are now at 10,000 feet. We can request the ATC 
uh, for higher altitudes and flight levels and continue to our destination. So this is the standard instrument departure for one way three, two, uh, mixage, two tango departure. Okay, so for the NDB runway 3-2 approach, uh, I use the TVAT NDB Tango Alpha Zulu at 3-4-5 set on, on 2 and we intercept on heading 3-3-6 so we fly on heading a bit to the left on the, of the intercept heading we're currently heading at 3 one two, until the NDB shows 3-3-6 and then we fly heading 3-3-6 uh, we are now 23 miles from the DME DME is at the front of the runway uh, and the frequency is 111.3 then I'm going to the this lifter and then uh, so we start to descend to 4000 for the chart so altitude 4000 set check and level change the autopilot will get us to 4,000 feet, altimeters are standard, and we'll set for the approach, auto brake is 2, and uh, we can do the approach checklist. Approach checklist. Altimeters, 1013. 1013. Uh, VHF. Yeah, will be, VHF navigation will be... Is set, yeah. We have the DME on 1.3 and we have the NDBs, all are set. Uh, set. Okay, we descend to 4000. We should be at 4015 miles from the DME. And the needle is starting to turn, so. We try to intercept it, heading 336, and we correct it. We'll, co we'll correct it as needed after that. Set. Uh, so speed 200, flaps one. Flaps one. Zero zero six. Set. Set. And we're a bit to the right of the NDB, so we correct heading 326. Check. And we we'll continue. Okay, 15 miles from the DME, and uh, we're at almost 4,000 feet. Uh, we continue to descend to 2,300. So 2,300 set, check. And level changes in gauge. So we reduce the speed further at 180. 180 speed, 180, plus 5. Speed check, flaps 5. We'll continue visual as per the chart from the NDB. So when we fly uh, through the NDB, we should be all set up with gear down and flap set and all, all of that. So we have uh, 5 miles to go, so we'll be pretty quick from here. Uh, we're just slowing down and turning and once again, heading 336. We corrected for the NDP, which is now also approximately Check. at 340. And 336. Set. And we continue to slow down. And I'll engage vertical speed. We'll increase this a bit. And gear down. Yeah, now. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. This will help us slow down some more. And speed 150. And we have some wind shear from the mountains. Check. And the wind is from the front. Auto pilot off. So 2,300 out of the hole. And a 
and landing speed will be 137 plus 5 so 140 so we're approaching the NDP please set speed to 142 and flaps 30 142 set flaps 30 and we see the runway runway is inside and the lights on and landing checklist Engine start switches, continuous, speed brake, arm, arm, and green light, landing gear, down, down, down three green. greens, flaps, green light. green light, cabin, secured. Okay, NDB is now passed, so please return over the flight directors. Just for me and uh, heading 200 and Mr. Broach out of here. 200 and out of here. 5000. And we continue visually straight ahead. Uh, we have a mountain on the right and also one on the left. So we continue straight ahead and we're all set up for landing. If we have a missed approach, I'll have to turn to heading 200 and climb to 5000 immediately. And not the throttle also. So we still have pretty high winds, which is quite common in Tivat because it's all mountains all around. And also the sea on the left side. So 1000, stabilized, yeah? Stabilized. Runway is reported wet, so we'll have to brake quite hard, and runway is now at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. We start the left run and continue to descend 500, and stabilized. Check. So, and approaching minimums, yeah? Minimum and minimums for the runway. So we continue and we set down to break up. Reversions unlocked. Reverse thrust. Eighty. Reverse thrust off. Manual braking. Sixty. So we just landed on runway 32, uh, visual approach, and I hope you like it. Uh, if you have a possibility, do it even if on, only on a flight simulator on your own computer. Uh, use uh, real charts and it will be fun, I promise. Uh, so uh, we will finish with Tivat Montenegro. We will keep reading your comments and searching for more airports to fly to and from and for more most dangerous approaches. So see you later. Bye.